Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays, number 20, the next button. Nice work. Your application should now have a simple output displaying one of your favorite things and indicating which item of your list you are showing. To make things more interesting, however, we want to be able to change which item we display. And I totally agree with that. To change the item displayed, the user will use the next and last button. These should increase or decrease the global index by one, and then you should update the information displayed on the screen. To start out with, however, we'll be just writing our code for the next button. Well, thank you for making that easy for us, code.org. We have a do this, add event handler to the next button, write code in this event handler that increments your global index variable and then updates the output on the screen. Note, if your code from the last exercise was written to reference this variable, then you should just be able to reuse it once you've incremented your variable. We'll talk more about this in the next exercise. And I think we did that, so we are on a good path, kids. Run your program to confirm that user can move forward through the list and that the output displayed is correct. We have a note. You may notice that your program throws an error if the global index variable goes out of bounds. Don't worry about this for now. We'll fix this in a later exercise. Looks like what we're doing here is we're going to make our next button functional. Well, how are we going to do that? I know from looking up here, I need an event handler on the next button. So I'm going to need to drag that in here. Where am I going to drag it? Well, I know my code needs this part up here. I know I need to call my index. And this text right here sets this start of the app. And if you looked up here, we had a note that says, if your code from the last exercise was written to reference this variable, then you should just be able to reuse it once you've incremented your variable. That means I think I'm gonna be able to copy and paste this code somewhere. With those two ideas in mind, I think I'm going to need my function to be below all of the code I've already written. I should drag in my event right here. Well, what event? Well, the ID here is going to be my next button. So I'm just going to type in next button. Do we want this to be a click or anything else special, an over? No, we can just keep it as a click. And this is going to be an event. This right here is the beginning of my code. So on the event, the next button is clicked, what's gonna happen? Well, I need to add to my index. That means this number has to go up from one to two. Well, how do I do that? Previous lesson said, I can really just write this and do a plus plus, and that'll actually add one to my code. On the event, the next button is clicked here. It's going to add one to our current index. That means the next thing should be displayed. We have to take our code here. So the code that I wrote the last lesson, and I want that to be included in here. I'm just going to copy and paste my set text from up here. Let's make this look a little better. That means on the event, the next button is clicked. The current index is going to go plus one. We are going to set the text area down here to whatever the fave thing is in the array under the current index. So it's going to look up here. And if it's two, it's going to go to pizza. Because remember, it's zero one, two. Then we're going to set the text of the array tracker, that little thing up here, to the current index plus one. That's because we display one through 10, but we index zero through nine. 
We have a little error up here. It says offend is defined. We actually do not need that. We can take that away. My apologies. Looking up here then, when we click on the next button, we should add one to the index and we should change some things. So I should be able to go next, next, next. Now, this is only gonna display three things. I should get an error when I get out of bounds or at four. Let's see if that's what happens. Run, Chevy Volt comes up one of three. So far, so good. Next, video games, two of three. Doing good. Pizza, my third favorite thing, three of three. Now when we hit next, let's see what happens. We get an error. That's because we are out of bounds of our array. But don't worry, we're gonna handle that in a minute. For right now, I think we accomplished everything we need to. Looking back up here to our do this, we add an event handler into there. Our code was already written well, so we actually just reused our global variable inside our function. And we ran the program and it displayed the correct things. What's my code doing? Again, when I click the next button, the index is going to be added to one. Then I'm going to display the text area, fave things, and whatever the current index is over here. It's going to look up here to my variable and then to my array to see what the index is. That is going to change my text area and my array tracker, and it did. We also got an error when we went out of bounds. I think that's all we had to do. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I know this was a tough one, but I'll see you on the next lesson.